Hey, welcome back to another Morales video. My name is Bharat and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage our newly launched token swaps API in order to fetch swap transactions across any EVM chain. So let's get started. So if you're not familiar with Morales, Morales is the crypto data platform. So if you're a dev building your Web3 applications, Morales basically provides you with RPC nodes, APIs for building any kinds of applications with Web3 data. And as you can see right here, we've got APIs for token data, NFT data, wallet data, DeFi, DEX data, essentially any kind of blockchain data you need, you have an API for it straight from Morales. So to get started, you can just click on login and that's gonna take you to your Morales dashboard. And your Morales dashboard basically contains everything you need to get started. You can see the links to our docs, tutorials, etc. And now for following along, you can just click on docs and that's going to take you to our documentation, which is available at docs.morales.com. And as you can see right here, you have everything available, super accessible right in the front. You can access all the popular APIs right here. You can explore by chain, whether it's an EVM or a Solana straight from here. And now since we are gonna go over the token swaps API on EVM, you can just click on EVM API. And here you go. You can see the list of APIs by category available on the EVM chain. And if you click on token API, you can see all of the token APIs here. And since we're gonna cover the token swaps API, you can click on get token swaps and there you go. So these are the three newly launched APIs that we've uh, just shipped. And as you can see right here, the first one is basically to get the swaps by pair address. So if you know the pair address of your particular token or uh, in a DEX, essentially the trading pair, with that you could get all of the swap transactions. Otherwise you also have get swaps by token address. So just with the token address, this is gonna give you all of the swaps and it's gonna fetch all the swaps across all of the trading pairs that the token is basically uh, having. And then you have get swaps by wallet address. And this is gonna actually give you all of the swaps by your wallet address. And you can again apply a filter to get just the swaps for a particular token within your wallet as well. So I'm gonna show you how you could integrate all of these APIs. And to start with, let's go over the get swaps by pair address. So as soon as you click here, uh, you can see right here, these are the path params and query params. So you need to pass the pair address for, for which you wanna retrieve the swap transactions for. And then you have to pass certain things like the chain, the cursor in case you're basically paginating. Then you have limit, the number of results to return. And you can also query this between certain uh, blocks or time periods. So you have like from block and to block in case you want to retrieve swaps for a pair address just between uh, specific blocks. Otherwise, you could also use the from date and to date so that you retrieve swaps between, between a specific date. Order basically determines the order of the transactions which basically come and you also have transaction type filtering. So if you want to filter the transaction types based on buy, sell, add liquidity, remove liquidity, you can also do that. So to get started, I'm just going to head over to morales.com, which is essentially a crypto terminal powered by Morales APIs. And as you can see right here, you have access to a wide variety of tokens and all of this data is coming from Morales APIs. So I'm just going to click on uh, search for WBTC and let's basically get the wrapped Bitcoin token. And as you can see right here, you can see all the data about the wrapped Bitcoin token, such as the price, liquidity, the market cap, FDV, etc. And here you go, you can basically see the APIs in action. So you can see the transactions, which are basically in real time. And you can see the time at which this transaction happened, the type, whether uh, the, the user has basically swapped all of their tokens, whether they have purchased a little bit or whether it's a liquidity addition. You can see all of that data right here. You can see the USD value of that. You can see the uh, quantity which was swapped. So WBTC quantity, and it's showing you the swaps for the WBTC slash WETH pool. So you can see uh, how much WBTC was sold and how much WETH was obtained, the price at which this transaction happened along with the maker as well. And you also get like direct links to the block explorer along with this, which shows you the particular transaction. So I'm going to show you how you can essentially get this kind of data using the get swaps by pair address API. So for this, let's first retrieve the pair address of this particular trading pair. As soon as you click on this, you can see all of the pairs which are available for this particular token. And I'm just going to select WBDC slash WF because it's the pair with the highest liquidity. So to copy the pair address, you can just click on this copy button and then you can head over to get swaps by pair address here. So once you're here, you can just put in the pair address right here. 
So I'm going to put in the WBDC pair address. I have the chain already set to ETH, so which is great. And the next thing I need is just my API key, so which I'm going to take from Morales.io. And once I'm here, you can just copy your API key and you can head over to the docs. Just paste your API key right here and you will get the curl request right here. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to show you this on my terminal. So there we go. So let's wait for the response and you got it. So this is going to give you all the token swap data. And as you can see right here, this data is really granular. So you can basically see the transaction hash. You can see the transaction index. You can see the transaction type, whether it's an ad liquidity, whether it's a buy, whether it's a sell, you can see all of that. So if I take this example here, you can see the transaction hash. You can see the transaction index. You can see that this was a buy transaction. You can see the timestamp and the block number. And you also get the subcategory of this purchase, which means that if it's a buy transaction, you have subcategories within it, which could be either accumulation or whether it could be ad liquidity, all of that. So you can see the subcategory, which is really cool because when you are making a decision on uh, whether to buy a particular token, you can see whether it's a first time buyer that's actually uh, getting into a particular token or whether it's just someone uh, existing buyers accumulating all of that. So that's really helpful. You can see the base token amount, which was basically swapped. So the base token amount is basically WBTC. So 0 0.72. Then you can see the code token amount, uh, which you see right here. And then you see the base token and code token price. So the price at which this swap happened was the, was it 97k uh, USD and this is the code token price which you see right here. Since this is reflecting the WBTC and WETH pool, code token refers to WETH and uh, base token represents to wrap Bitcoin. And the base code price is basically also giving you all of this date pr uh, price information. And the total val value USD gives you the total value of this particular transaction. So which is basically 70,651. So, this is how you can leverage the get swaps by pair address API in order to get like the uh, swaps by pair address for a particular trading pair. Uh, I'm going to cover a separate video where I show you how you can get all the token swaps on Solana. So stay tuned for that. And uh, coming to the next API, which is to get swaps by token address. So if you wanted to just retrieve all the swaps across all of the trading pairs, all you need is just the token address. And this is actually automatically going to give you all of the swaps across all the active pairs in which wrap Bitcoin is trading on. So once you've copied the token address right here, you can head over to get swaps by token address. Just paste in the uh, token address right here. You can see the curl snippet over here and I'm going to open up my terminal again. Just going to clear my terminal and let's try this API out. So there you go. So you can see the API format is kind of different over here. So you basically get the uh, transaction hash, transaction index as usual, but you also get the bought and sold because now it's supporting all the trading pairs, uh, which are basically trading the WBDC token. You can basically see uh, details about the pair itself. You can see that uh, this pair address was uh, 0x5653. You can see the exchange name in which this particular swap happened, which is Uniswap V3. You can get the exchange address. And since this supports our entities, you can also get like uh, what entity uh, was the exchange tied to. And you can see this exchange is referring to Uniswap. You have the exchange logo as well with this. You have the base token and the code token as well. And these are the two fields that we're basically interested in. You have bought and sold, and this is actually telling you that this particular transaction was a buy transaction, which means the user has bought wrap Bitcoin and has swapped uh, USDT in this particular thing. So you can see that he swapped, uh, the user basically swapped around uh, 19,821 USDT in order to buy uh, Bitcoin. And the user has basically accumulated around uh, we can see it right here, which is basically the amount. So USD amount represents the amount of this transaction. So if you wanted to see the uh, value that the user actually purchased for totally, you have the total value USD field, which is showing you right here. 
and the amount field shows you how much Bitcoin the user has actually purchased. So that's what you're seeing right here. The user has purchased 0 0.2 Bitcoins and he has actually uh, sold 19,821 USDT in order to make this purchase happen. And the USD price represents the price at which this uh, transaction happened. So the user actually bought Bitcoin at 99K, which you're seeing right here. And the USD amount represents the total value of uh, the uh, Bitcoin that the user purchased. So that's why you see both of these uh, fields over here. And you also get certain extra fields like the uh, subcategory. So you can see right here that uh, this particular subcategory was accumulation. Uh, in case it's a first time buyer, you'll basically say first time buyer, all of that. And uh, this is how you could essentially leverage the swaps by token address API in order to get like the swaps for a particular token. And uh, coming to the next API, which is swaps by wallet address, I'm going to show you how you can retrieve swaps for a given wallet address. And again, uh, if you're interested, you could also filter it by a particular uh, token uh, address as well. So that's what you see right here. In case you want to filter all the swaps for a particular token for a wallet, you could also do that directly from here. And in case you also want to filter between certain blocks or certain dates, you also have the ability to do that. So if you want to see that as well, you could just head over to uh, swaps by token and try playing around with these fields. And you just have to provide the uh, date from date and to date, you'll be, you'll be able to uh, get all the transactions between that particular date. So now I'm going to show you swaps by wallet address. So I already have a wallet address right here. So I'm just going to hit test live API here and you can see the response uh, field getting populated right here. So you can basically see all the transactions that were made for this particular wallet and you can see the details like the date, uh, the block number, what type of transaction. So the user has basically purchased uh, a ape tokens which you see right here so in the bot field you can see ape and you can see uh, sold is basically wet which means the user actually swapped uh, wet tokens for ape and you also get like wallet labels which means that in case the user has an ENS or sorts you can basically get in like the uh, wallet address label so in case it's vitalik or BlackRock, etc. You could also see their labels coming up right here. In case it's a entity tied to Binance, you're going to get all of that data within the API as well. And as you can see right here, you're getting the swap transactions uh, kind of similar to the same format as the token address. You have the bot field, which is showing you what token was bought and sold basically uh, tells you what token was swapped uh, in order to get this particular token. So the user basically swapped uh, wrapped ether in order to get ape ape coin token so that's uh, this particular transaction so if you want to filter this out you can also just like uh, filter by the token address so i'm just going to show you how you could uh, kind of do this so the base token for this uh, i'm guessing is the ape token so let's copy this address and let's just put in the token address right here and now if you hit test live api you're going to get all the transactions related to just the ape token so that's what you see right here all the swaps are filtered but just to accommodate the ape token transactions so you can see right here the user has bought uh, twice so there are two transaction hashes the first time the user has swapped uh, usdc in order to buy ape and the second time the user has swapped uh, wrapped ether in order to buy ape so that's what you see right here you have the bought sold fields you can see the transaction details, the timestamps, the category of the transaction. So you can see in the first transaction, uh, you have the subcategory as new position, which means this is the first transa transaction where the user has bought ape, ape tokens. And the second time you have uh, accumulation because the user has bought it the second time. So you get all this kind of data from the get token swaps API. And uh, this is how you can essentially integrate the swaps api to build any kind of application if you want so if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to stay uh, tuned for further videos thank you